Pyrosome to Aranax. Nectins, are you reading me? Commander Pyrosome, to what do we owe this pleasure? I have a question for Keiko. For me? I know it's unprecedented, but you're the most accomplished marine biologist I know. Was that flattery? I don't flatter. Ever. The scientific arm of the World Oceans Authority is very concerned about some sea life we've been monitoring with trackers. Once, I put a tracker on a sea snail for a whole year. We know. It moved three meters. It was science. These dots are the individuals being tracked. But for each individual, there can be hundreds in a school. They're all grouping together? And we have no idea why. Hmm, what sort of fish? All kinds. Bass, rays, and not just fish. Dolphins, turtles, seals. They've got nothing in common. Maybe they overcame their differences and formed a football team. At first, we thought they'd all been sucked into a fast, warm water current. But no. Sorry, football is silly. Water polo, maybe. And be serious. Okay, so they're running away from something. Like a fontaine? Ugh. Commander, how can a turtle travel as fast as a dolphin? That is the question. Hmm. Commander Pyrosome, we'll take the case. Well, I only wanted advice. Sorry you got us intrigued. It's too late now. Worry. All right! My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. from the WOA trackers now. Amazing. I've never seen so many species of fish that close together. It's like they're right on top of each other. That's weird. Let's ask the other fish expert. Please. You're asking Jeffrey? Of course. Jeffrey, why would perfectly sensible fish from all different species run away from home together? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, Jeffrey has a theory. He's a fish. Exactly, with unique insights into fish motivation. And Jeffrey favors the circus theory. They ran away to join the circus? Of course. Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. The group have slowed down at a commercial tuna farm, about five nautical miles ahead. Hmm. Maybe they're all hungry. Oh, silt everywhere. What could have churned up the water like this? I'm not sure. But our visibility is limited. Something else on sonar. Slowing engines. The signal's gone. No, it's back. Huh, that's weird. It just moved. Maybe it's all these dirt particles messing with the signal. Let's not take chances. Coming to port, 10 degrees. Up ahead. What? Nets everywhere! Look out! Hold on! Ah! Ah! There's more! Full reverse! Brace yourselves! That can't be a good sound. It's the propellers! That's it. We're officially dead in the water. What could have done this? Maybe the tuna who were kept here did it. The tuna all just ran away to join the migration? Yes, a massive tuna jailbreak. Okay, big pull. Now. Come down, Jeffrey. Everything's fine. Nectins? We have a strange development. Another cluster of sea creatures is forming. Again, it's all different kinds. Another cluster? That's interesting. Where? Around 20 nautical miles southeast of you. Will, you and Fontaine keep following the original group. They're moving slower now. You should be able to catch up to them quickly. Right. We'll try to get a look at this new group. Thank you. You'll be okay? We're good to go. 
Wow, these new guys are fast, but the Aranax is faster. We should have a visual in about six minutes. Wait, our group is diving, fast. Hold on. I don't get this. Some of the creatures in this group can't possibly dive this deep. Maybe they have a submarine. Uh, that's not a serious suggestion. Will, your group has stopped descending. They've turned back. Roger that, we're monitoring. In fact, they're heading straight for us. Keep your eyes peeled. Sonar's locked on a solid object. What object? I don't know, but it's closing fast. They're coming straight at you. Turn, Will, now! Animals aren't traveling together. They were eaten! Megalodon! Ah! Aranax to Rover, come in! Aranax to Rover! Dad, come on, answer! Aranax to Rover, come in! Will, Fontaine, we're coming. Talk to me. Where are they? Uh, 2.1 nautical miles ahead, bearing 117. We're closing fast. Over there, Aranax. Can you hear me? Dad! Will! Why weren't you answering? We're inside a Megalodon, holding on to its gill. We're slipping. Full thrusters. <laughs> yes! Got it! We're stable for the moment. But there's a constant flow of water pressing against us, Mom. We can't fight against it. We can't force our way out. We'll be there in 30 seconds. We'll try to hold on. <laughs> if we keep slipping. Mom, please hurry. Should be getting close to a visual. Wow, incredible. So cool! It's immense. Maybe 40 meters long. We're coming up on it now. Understood. What have you got? That thing should have been extinct for 2.6 million years. Something practical, Ant. Uh, oh, its closest living relative is the great white shark. Megalodon was the single biggest predator on the planet. Uh, we're listening here. Was that supposed to cheer us up? Related to the Great White. Great Whites are constantly moving, remember? So what? So the water flow isn't gonna stop! Which means we can't get out? Unless we can stop the Megalodon from moving. Listen, these things would never expect anything to challenge them head on. I don't think crashing into it is gonna stop it from swallowing half our family. No, we turn off our lights, then come at it head on, fast. And at the last second, we blast it with the lights, strobes, everything. So we'd shock it and stop it without hurting it. And hopefully, the rover would be able to get out. Uh-huh. It's a big gamble. It sounds like the only gamble we have. Okay, and turn off the lights. I'll get us ahead of this creature.
We both need to time this perfectly, so be ready, Ant. Accelerating. I'll wait till the last second. Will and Fontaine, when it stops, hopefully it will open its mouth. Then gun your engine. Okay, Fontaine, be ready to let go with the arms. I'm ready. Get ready, Ant. Huh? Proximity alert! What? There's something else out there! Mom, it's another group! It's another Megalodon! Okay, new plan. We get a steel cable. Super strong, excellent choice. And we loop it around the Megalodon. Once it's fastened, we reverse the Aranax and bring the shark to a stop. Wait, wait, wait. You want to lasso a Megalodon? It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Um, yeah. But it's times like these, I know we're related. It's brilliant, come on. Okay, getting a little too intense here. We'll need a knight to get that close, uh, to loop it over. You're not going out. In the mag knight, it's the strongest. I'm going along with your plan here, but you need a knight. I'll go out. Mom, you need to pilot the Aranax. I'm not that skilled, and Jeffrey is an amateur at best. It's hard to drive a submarine when you don't have opposable thumbs. No one pilots better than you, so it has to be me out there. Oh, I absolutely hate it. Dad and Fontaine need it to happen, now. What if the other Megalodon gets involved? It's clearly protecting its mate. If it spots me, I'll get out of there. Please stay safe. This better work, big guy. I'm leaving this channel open. You'll need to move fast when we do this. Uh, have a giant shark stomach behind us as motivation. We'll move faster than we ever have before. Count on it. Excellent. Then we'll release the cable before the animal gets hurt. And let's do this. Getting into position now. Okay, Ant, I'm moving closer. Just right. Okay, dropping in five, four, three, two, one. Uh oh, he knows I'm here. Do we have an even bigger night? Be ready, stay alert. It's not like I'm relaxing here, Dad. And are you all right? Am I all right? I'm riding an extinct mega monster! This could be the single greatest moment of my life! <laughs> and half of your family is about to be eaten! And working on saving you. <gasps> Aunt! What's happening? I'm okay. I'm okay. I just have to... 
running at 50%. I'll get the Megalodon off your tail. No, Ant! We can't keep up with the descent. We'll have to lock onto the Aranax magnetically. Do it as quickly as you can, Fontaine. We've got one shot at this. Steady. Steady. We're out of position. Can you keep us straight? I'm trying, but it's nearly impossible with one engine down. We're out of time. Lock on. Chasing me, Mom. I may as well use them. Come on, big guy. Don't I look tasty? That's right. Come get me. Sam! Back inside. Let's leave these two alone. <laughs> these pictures were taken inside the Megalodon's mouth? What can I say? We're thorough. We've determined they're a male and a female. They were meeting to mate. They just needed to eat a lot before that. And they really don't care what they eat. Whereas I'm very discerning. And Jeffrey, huh, is totally picky. Unlike Great Whites, these creatures work together. They may even partner for life. But they're supposed to be extinct. It's not the first time humanity thought a creature was extinct when it wasn't. True. But why haven't we found Megalodons before this? Technology improves all the time. And maybe they usually stay in secluded areas. Very secluded. The tracker signals have vanished completely. That's good. They must have returned to somewhere very deep. But 
What can we do if they ever come back? Do you really want to think about that? Aranax out. <laughs> what can we do? Personally, I never want to have to use myself as a giant shark lure again. They've lived here untouched and untroubled for millions of years. All we can do is be ready if we encounter them again and stay out of their way. The sea is their home. We should respect the biggest predators in the ocean. Who knows what they could be protecting us from? <laughs> <laughs>